Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader. It's Tuesday night, March 1st. And these are the charts of the day. Today, we're going to look at the short side. The market had a really negative session in my mind, both uh, from a price and underlying technical standpoint, closing at the low end of the range, almost at the lows for the day on the S&P and the uh, um, fifth failure today at key overhead resistance was an important one. And the bears have taken control, apparently. But you know, this market has not proven itself up or down, mostly on the upside it has, of course. It hasn't proven itself on the downside at all. And until we get some downside follow-through, um, we will have to wait and see. But I want to be prepared for the short side, and I want to review the box of shorts today. Here we have AIG, which over the course of the last year moved from the uh, near, near 20 range up to more than 60, nearly uh, more than tripling. And um, over the course of the last 60 days, you can see a dramatic fall-off from low 60s down to the mid 30s now uh, we, we came down rapidly here in the mid in mid January bounced around and formed a wedge and then broke down this week on heavy volume at that so I'm looking for a test of this area down here around the 33 range short term secondary target down around 29.30 AMSC is a stock that has been um, falling in a de declining channel and uh, broke key support breaking through this line uh, this week, and as you can see, today down another 46 cents, but um, has, perhaps there's a rendezvous here with lower levels of support around the $24 level. That's my next trading target beneath that around 20. Broadcom, after running up in September up through December, topped out in, De in December, January, and early February, and then as you can see here, it rolled over, bounced the neckline that it broke, and it's been backing off. Today down another 76 cents. Um, and with the technicals looking as bad as it they have, without even barely budging on this bounce, at this point, it looks like a break of this 39 and a half range may take place, and then further damage could could result down towards 35.6 range, maybe lower. CCL rolled over hard a couple of weeks ago, actually a week ago, bounced for a couple of days on low volume on a pullback in volume with no or very little movement in technicals, and then another rollover. Uh, today down 259 to close just over 40, down 6%. But it looks like a rendezvous with 37 and a half and a test of that level may be forthcoming. That's lateral price resistance and trend line support. If you step back and look at the overall pattern, you'll see that's the long-term trend line. And a break of that could lead to something down as low as 30. CPLA, uh, Capella Education, which has been a negative educational stock for months now, has dropped from um, the high 90s to the low 50s and although it did bounce in the last week or two forming a bear wedge here today it dropped to dollar 67 and broke out of that wedge to the downside probably uh, setting up a test of this 49 and a half range short term um, and then maybe even dropping down to the mid 40s but a lot will depend on how severe the decline becomes if we do get one Cree which uh, ran up in October through early December then rolled over from the mid, mid 70s after platforming broke, broke hard in January dropping down to the 50 range Bouncing back to the mid 50s, where resistance was, but can get through it right here and then rolled over the retest. Today, down $1.73, closing just over under 51. And uh, at this point, a test of this September October double bottom around 47 should take place. If that's broken, a step back reveals massive support down around, or at least a test of support could take place down around the 37 38 zone. CTRP, which has been up for a couple of years and ran all the way up to uh, from the um, high single digits to the um, low 50s, um, rolled over after forming a head and shoulders here, came down hard in December, snapped back, and then stair stepped its way lower here. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five wave decline, which broke this support level and took out that low as well. Now a down channel seems to be forming. And uh, if a parallel channel takes place, and we should at least move down towards 35, and maybe as low as the thir low 30s in the $32 area. Certainly negative enough technicals. Look how the they're bouncing along the bottom here, barely budging. Expediters, after a big run up from July through December, taking it from about the, the mid 30s to the mid 50s, um, pulled over, bounced but failed, and it came down hard in February forming a bear wedge and today breaking down from 48.88 to 46.28 before bouncing a little bit, still down 84 cents and cracking this pattern. 
Um, if you step back and look at where the support loop lies in this zone down around the 43, 44 zone, that's my next test, but we need that perhaps 3940. GSIC, which has been in declining phase since last June, um, is and failed to get this, through this declining top line on several occasions, is now uh, in the midst of falling away. And as it, today, down 97 cent, took out this little double bottom and should result in further downside for the test of 18 coming up, perhaps even as low as 16 and a half at the bottom of the channel and lateral price support. That's my uh, secondary target. Hawkins Chemical broke hard for $1.70 today. We've been showing you this coil for a month now, developing. The declining top line moving average here finally met up with price and it fell away. Today dropping, as I said, 4.44%. And volume today was the heaviest in about four weeks. So it looks like a, a, a test of 33 and a half and then perhaps even 32 may take place over the short term provided market presses lower. Really ugly looking chart, chart on Homex Development HXM. After breaking this level of uh, support here in late January, it bounced back to test that level, failed and rolled over hard, bounced for three or four days, but could barely budge. In the last couple of sessions, it's come down from 28.5 to 25.5, um, closing down $1.63 or 6% today and taking out this level of support. Next up, potentially, if things continue to go the way they are, the stock should test the $24 range, perhaps even as low as 22 and three quarters. NTAP, um, after a long rising channel over the last couple of years, took this one from around 10 to the low 60s and more than a six-fold increase. The stock broke hard in the last couple of weeks, rallied back to the support line that was broken after bouncing off secondary support. But today it rolled over $1.03. And if a break occurs here, we could see this down near the 47 and a half range, but this could fall away down into the low 40s eventually. ROVI, Rovi. Um, after forming a hip and shoulders type top, broke hard in the last couple of weeks, bounced back to resistance on uh, very little bounce in technicals, and began to roll over down $1.32 today. This one could start to get rapid to the downside and fall into the mid 40s um, at, at some point in the not too near, near distant future. Thor, Thoratech, um, has been in the downtrend since last June and continues to look ugly, even though it can. It is stair stepping its way down. It bounced, formed a big bear wedge here, failed that resistance, rolled over hard, bounced back again, began to roll over today down 58 cents. If we get any further downside damage, a quick test of 22, and then maybe 19 and a half could take place. And lastly, is BMW today. This long uptrend over the last couple of years, at which it took it from uh, the high teens to the uh, near 100 range, trading up around 98. Fell hard in, in uh, January and then worked its way back in a bear flag, rolled over hard and bounced. And now, now today came down at $1.98 and is about to break this key lateral price support and complete this head and shoulders type top. The minimum target down around the 70 71 zone, which is about 10 points from here. So watch it carefully for this one. If it breaks under 81, it could fall away pretty rapidly. Technical is looking quite negative and barely bounced on this move up here. So. Um, an indication of lower levels, perhaps, but certainly um, this one is looking negative and deserves to be on our box of shorts list. That's it for tonight. Good luck tomorrow. Be very careful out there.